a rugged slice of paradise in New Zealand's south. The Lindus is such a powerful piece of architecture. It's an incredible statement that sits beautifully in its raw natural environment. You're in this glacial valley, 4,000 years old, dwarfed by those snow-capped mountains. It's unbelievable. I'm in the high country in the South Island, about as remote as you can get in New Zealand. What an extraordinary view. Yeah, so we are located here in the Aruru Valley, and we're on Benaven Station, which is roughly 6,500 acres of land. Stunning. And Beautiful. the lodge is overlooking the Aruru River, which is one of the best in the world for fly fishing. And I love this amazing space we're in, this beautiful curved roof, which really reflects kind of the curved landscape outside. Absolutely. So this is also the space where guests will have, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinners. And that's also the place where we encourage people to come maybe after their day outside, just to sit by the fireplace and enjoy a glass of wine. So how do you put a building into a landscape like this? With a lot of blood, sweat and tears, that's for sure. One of the challenges was simply the conditions that we've got to work in. You know, 40 degree temperatures in summer, um, minus 15 degrees in winter. It's a very challenging build. Some of the radiuses that we had to bend, some of the block work inside those rocks weigh 85 kilos each. The whole thing was a great joint venture to get a great result. So this is a, an old glacial valley. Exactly. It would have formed in the last ice age, about 4,000 years ago. Before I was born, just. Most guests stay around about two to three nights, and uh, we try and pack in a different activity every day. But there's a, always a warm bed and a nice lodge to come back to every night, and that's part of the appeal. So this is our biggest room here at the Lindis. We have five rooms in total, so very exclusive. And look at that view. And then on the left-hand side of the room, you also have a private bathtub overlooking at the, this incredible view. And then if I take you to the far end of the room, I will show you that small lounge area. And it's a private space, you know, that you can enjoy a glass of wine, read a book. And so you've got these pods now. We have three of them. And this is an absolute contrast to the curve of the main building, these little cubic modernist buildings. Exactly, but that's also why we gave a mission to the Auckland University students to come up with a concept to blend them into the landscape. I can just imagine waking up here in the morning, absolutely stunning, immersing yourself in that landscape. Yeah, and that's exactly what we want our guests to feel and experience when they come to the Lindis. You have the whole valley for yourself, and that's pretty unique. It was a successful day today for you at the Lenders. Yeah, an exciting day, a fabulous day. Wow, this looks so impressive. It's beautiful. Yeah, and as you can see, everything is really fresh. Fresh and local. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. What an absolute privilege to stay in a building like this, in a landscape like this. Blackbird in the Byron hinterland is really one of those resorts that you could really feel the connection with Mother Earth. It's very unapologetic in the way they've, they've put this together. It's all been used out of recycled materials, which is quite amazing. It's very simple, very honest, and very unique. I've woken up in the beautiful Byron Bay hinterland of northern New South Wales. The story of this boutique hotel starts with a man striving for a zero carbon footprint and to create a place where you can escape to yourself. The property was a banana farm back in the 60s. It had very much been let to go to ruin and now we're in the process of regenerating uh, the native uh, rainforest species. And then here we have the rooms, is that what you call them? We refer to them as pavilions. We think provides a sense of privacy. We repurposed and reused a lot of the timber in, in the new construction, which by actually repurposing and reusing the materials that we had on site, those materials have a zero carbon footprint. These are actually old railway sleepers and the metal connections are all part of the, the railway tracks that we used to join them. The, Rio mesh that was left over from the concrete slabs, we started to layer up as a, a texture. So nothing's gone to waste. This is your reception and you've got a lot of different materials and a lot of different textures, but they all seem to really work. All of these timbers in the reception area 
are reclaimed from the, the old banana shed on the property. Uh, the rusty sheets are the old roof sheets. And this beam up here, I needed something just that size. And yes. as luck would have it, that was about 30 mils bigger than I needed. That banana shed just keeps on giving, doesn't it? And I love how this concrete floor just goes right through, same level as the pool. That's right. That was a bit of an engineering process and it was always important to have the water level continuing through from the slab and then extending out into the view. So you're living the dream? Absolutely. The very first weekend that we opened, we ended up sitting around this table, having a glass of wine. Um, everyone got on like a house on fire and it felt like visiting friends and family for the weekend. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.